morning everyone. So I just woke up and about to get ready for the day. A lot of people are surprised that I make my own shampoos and deodorants so I thought I'd show you the process. Let's get started. Okay, here's the products that I use and let me talk to you a little bit about them. A couple years ago, uh, I, well actually it was about four years ago, I started growing out my gray hair because um, some of the products I was using to put in my hair, the hair dyes were really, really super abrasive on my hair and my hair was breaking and I was having a lot of damage. So I decided that I would try something different. So um, I stopped putting those chemicals in my hair and it was, really 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 hard so when uh, I decided to go gray I thought well this won't be that bad I'll just grow my hair out or um, maybe dye it gray and then let it grow out naturally I was completely wrong it's super super hard to grow your gray hair especially when it gets about this far when you have like a giant stripe down the top of your head so I just want to say to any women out there who've grown out their gray hair uh, you are a warrior because that is one of the hardest things to do every single week as it looks worse and worse and worse. You say to yourself, I'm just going to dye it this week. My husband can attest to the fact that I was just crying and whining about it the whole process. In fact, a lot of women were like, oh, did you get a reverse ombre? And it's like, no, <laughs> that's just my dyed old hair. So let me talk to you a little bit about the products that I do use. So I make my own shampoo and I make my own, my own deodorant. It's two ingredients. Okay, so the first ingredient is just plain old baking soda. It's nothing fancy. Um, you can buy any brand you want. I like to use Bob's Red Mill. And when I originally, two years ago, decided I was gonna make my own shampoos, uh, I bought three bags of baking soda and I use this for cooking also. And I have still, after two years, a whole bag and a half a bag. Here in Alaska, it's probably no more than $5. I literally was buying shampoo that was $30 a bottle and it would only last me two weeks. So think of the savings that you can save yourself. It's amazing. What I use is I get some kind of squirter bottle. And then the other ingredient is nothing more than essential oil, uh, lavender but you can use any kind of oil essential oils that you like it just basically to make it smell good that's how I make my shampoo so the other thing I was going to talk about is making my deodorant okay so how I make my deodorant is the exact same way I mean there's nothing different you can make as much as you want and it's for shampoo and your deodorant so these are the bottles that I use to make my deodorant and I bought these bottles they're um, travel bottles that you can buy pretty much anywhere. But what I like about them is when you do travel, you can take this and then I take this other bottle and I put some of this in there and mix it with water and then squirt it in my hair and I have my shampoo and deodorant to go all in one bottle, so it's really nice. So as I said, the two ingredients you'll need is the baking soda, like I talked about before, and your lavender essential oil or any essential oil that you want to put in there. So I take this and I fill it with baking soda like so and then I just take the essential oils and I put I don't know five or six to ten drops in there however much you want it to smell nice and then just put the lid on and you shake it around, get a nice mix in it. Okay, so that's how you make the deodorant and the shampoo. So you wanna mix this with water and that's your shampoo. This holds about two cups of water and what you wanna do is you wanna add two heaping tablespoons to uh, about two cups of water. So I take my two tablespoons And then all I do is add water. So I take the water straight out of the tap, fill it up. And you can see how it makes it kind of cloudy. Put my lid on, put it on nice and tight. And then I shake that up, kind of stir it around. And there you go, you have shampoo. For the deodorant, put about that much in your hand. 
And then again in the morning, when you're getting ready, get your fingers wet and I just dribble a little bit on there just to make it kind of a paste. You can see how that turns into a paste. And then you rub it together. You can't even see it on your hands barely. And then you just wipe that across your uh, armpits and it is the best deodorant you'll ever use. It is awesome. So now that we made our shampoo and our deodorant, um, I'm going to talk about one other product that I use, um, and that is this Dr. Bronner's uh, soap. I really enjoy it. It's organic and um, leaves you with a nice, clean feel. Eventually, we're going to get into making our own soaps, but for right now, this is a great product that I would recommend. Now I think I'm ready to get in the shower and get this greasy hair cleaned up. Okay, so here's my new shampoo and I'm gonna get in the shower. So what you need to do is you need to pump it into your hair about 10 times all through my hair and I work it into the roots. So um, the only difference is, is that it's not gonna lather. So if you're looking for that big lathery hair and that feeling that you get from regular shampoos, you're not gonna get it. Let me get showered and then I'll show you how it turns out when I'm done. Okay, shower done and on to the next step. You can actually hear how squeaky clean my hair is. I'm done, ready for the day. Okay, so like I said, this is something that's super easy to do. You don't have to pay a lot of money. You can have hair that's soft and beautiful. It doesn't take very much to, to create these products. There's nothing to them really there's just the two ingredients and you're good to go I just don't like putting a lot of things in my body that I don't know where they came from and uh, when you look at some of the ingredients on some of these products you're like what is this stuff when I was dyeing my hair it was causing a lot of damage to my hair and I feel like it was causing a da damage to me as a person just putting all those products in me didn't feel natural the other thing I noticed about the products uh, that you buy from the store is that they weight your hair down. The more products you use, the more product you need. And I'm just not cool with that. If you're a guy that watched this video or clicked on the video, I don't have a lot of hair on this head, but for my goatee, these tricks and tips that my wife showed you, I use personally and it, they're amazing. When I started using her product, it's so much cleaner. It just feels, when you you get done with the shower, you feel so, um, I don't know, it just feels healthier and cleaner. So guys, don't be afraid to try this. All right, thanks for watching. Okay, so that's it, everyone. This is Beauty on the Cheap. And don't forget to leave us a comment below. I would love to hear what you guys are doing out there and you know, see what natural products you guys think are really good products. My beauty regimen is very toned down. I don't wear makeup. Um, the only makeup I wear is lipstick. Let me know what you guys are doing. Don't forget to subscribe and like and if you have any tips or tricks for any natural products that you'd love to share with us, we would love to hear it. So leave us a comment below.